day. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to start our next lecture that is flexor retinaculum. It is a Latin word which means hold back, strong hold. It is a strong fibrous band which converts the interior concavity of the carpal into a tunnel like structure. Actually this is a bean shaped structure of our hand. It is a transverse section. When we look at the uh, when we look at the general structure, this is the accurate structure. Not this. This is not the accurate accurate structure. This is its medial wall, lateral wall, and this is its base. Base, medial wall, lateral wall. I draw the bones. Now look at it. First of all, there is a PC form bone which is medial to the flexor retinaculum. It is a it is a flexor retinaculum retinaculum and there are two slips uh, two slips. It is the superficial slip superficial slip and it is the deep slip of the flexor retinaculum bones first uh, first bone which is medial to the which is uh, which is present on the medial side is the pc form then hamate and the uh, when we look at its um, lateral side there is a bone trapezium and the scaphoid scaphoid bone it's a capitate bone and this is the trapezoid bone. This is the luminate. Lunate. Lunate bone. Now we will discuss the structure which are the superficial and deep and deep to the flexor retinaculum. This is the deep portion of flexor retinaculum and this is the superficial uh, superficial of a flexor retinaculum first of all there is a nerve median nerve which is deep to the which is deep to the flexor retinaculum this this is the median nerve there is a muscle a tendon of a muscle carpi flexor carpi radialis flexor carpi radialis and it is the synovial sheet of this muscle it is present on the deep uh, on the deep slip of the flexor retinaculum then there is a uh, then uh, there are four tendons of uh, four tendons on the above surface uh, which is uh, superficial uh, somehow su uh, superficial and there are other four tendons these are covered by a synovial sheet this is an e type e like structure synovial sheet okay the upper four tendons upper four tendons are of flexor digitorum uh, superficialis where is the where are the where is the lower four tendons are of flexor digitorum profundus this is the, its synovial sheet okay now there is another structure which is a tendon of flexor pollicis longus flexor pollicis longer tendon and its synovial sheet there are uh, they, uh, on the medial side there is a muscle which is called 
हाइपोथिनॉर मसल हाइपोथिनॉर मसल एंड ऑन द लिटल साइड देर इज अ मसल दैट इज कॉल्ड थिनॉर मसल इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन सुपरफिशियल टू द टू द फ्लेक्सर रिटर्न अखलॉन थिनॉर मसल it may be a, it may be called as a continuation of the flexor retinaculum thinner muscles there are bursas uh, there are bursas which pass through there are bursas which pass through the deep layer or ulnar bursa and the radial bursas now move on the move to the superficial compartment of the uh, flexor retina when we look at the superficial compartment of the flexor retinaculum there is a structure that is called ulnar nerve the ulnar nerve is present on the superficial on the uh, on the superficial slip of the flexor retinaculum ulnar nerve option there is a this is the continuation of ulnar nerve and and the lateral uh, and on its lateral side there is ulnar artery ulnar artery when we look on the uh, the structure with passing from the which are passing from above the Uh, flexor retinaculum are the palmar cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve then there is a muscle that is called uh that is the muscle of that uh, th uh, th uh, this is the muscle palmaris longus tendon of palmaris tendon of palmaris longus longus and there is uh, uh, and above the median nerve on uh, on the superficial layer of a flexor retinaculum there is a palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve palmar cutaneous nerve of branch of median nerve median nerve okay so this is the complete diagram of the flexor retinaculum there is a carpal tunnel syndrome now turn it to turn towards clinical carpal tunnel syndrome why it occurs in the name of uh, in the language of a layman we called it slipping of limbs or uh pain of pricking uh, on the limbs we feel pain of pricking on the limbs why it occurs it occurs due to the compression of median nerve it occurs due to the thickening of synovial sheets there is a structure above here this which we called as flexor retinaculum it is actually a ligament which is called as which is called as volar carpal ligament jazakallah